Now this is actually really, really cool. You see the photo right there? That is a before and after picture, the way I like to see before and after pictures per se, of colon cancer stem cells. That's your before. The after is after these colon cancer stem cells were treated with a grape-based compound of resveratrol and grape seed extract. The combination researchers have discovered is extremely potent in the elimination of just not potentially tumors, but cancer stem cells themselves. With that in mind, let's go right into the public citation title as follows. Grape-based compounds kill colon cancer stem cells in mice. The combination of resveratrol and grape seed extract is very effective at killing colon cancer cells. And what the researchers are learning is the combination of these compounds is not toxic to healthy cells. The researchers who reported their findings in a recent issue of BMC Complementary and Alternative Medicine suggest that the findings could pave the way for clinical testing of the compounds on human colon cancer, which is the second most common cancer in women and third in men. If successful, the compounds could then be used in a pill to help prevent colon cancer and lessen the recurrence of the disease in colon cancer survivors. To go a little further, they, researchers, we are particularly interested in targeting stem cells because according to cancer stem cell theory, cancerous tumors are driven by cancer stem cells themselves. So sometimes they eliminate the tumors, but those stem cells remain. Henceforth, the combination of the veritrol and grapeseed extract holds incredible promise and or potential. So with that in mind, let's go right into the citation title as follows. Grape compounds suppress colon cancer stem cells in vitro and in rodent model of colon carcinogenesis published in, well, you see there the DOI, funding, pretty standard, no conflicts of interest reported, and basically study methods. Now keep in mind, the study length is not as really important as the amount of time the mice were actually treated with this grape-based compound. Reason being is because it took time for colon cancers basically to develop in the mice. So I really don't wanna really uh, add that to the study length in particular as a whole. Now, what happened was, they started looking at the effects of the grape seed extract resveratrol combination after just one week with surprising results. Also as follows. If you notice there, they added the resveratrol and the grape seed extract to food in which the animals ate freely. So basically I didn't want to list the amount that they may translate into humans. However, the researchers state this is basically the amount, the food, food percentage wise, that is typically used in human trials themselves. So not a lot, but yet extremely effective. As you read towards the bottom, all animals had free access to food in water. So to proceed, the study length, basically not as important. The treatment time started to show benefit after one week. The results of this grapeseed extract with xeratrol combination, our study, the research study, has shown that the RSVGSE combination eliminates colon cancer stem cells in vivo and in vitro, similar to that of the NSA Celendac. Now keep in mind, they wanted to have some comparison to other medications which were showing promise in treating colon cancer. Difference is this, there was veritrol and the grapeseed compound, or grapeseed extract I should say, was not toxic. In addition to that, even though the Celendac did show benefit in reducing the tumor size down, the GSC and the resveratrol kicked butt on the cancer stem cells so hopefully prevent any potential reoccurrence. Our results also established the molecular basis for the beneficial effect of RSV-GSE combination that is a popular dietary supplement. Although further investigations are needed to understand more on the interactions of these agents and in the long-term colon cancer, chemopreventive and chemotherapeutic potential of the RSV-GSE, our findings suggest that clinical testing of RSV-GSE against colon cancer is required. So in the future, it'd be kind of nice to see maybe if they did a prospective cohort study, cohort study, a little bit pricey, but at least maybe a non-randomized control intervention trial, uh, maybe potentially possible. I, start, I like myself to start seeing these things come to fruition in human trials, but in any case, resveratrol, grapeseed extract compound, in at least an animal model, shows to be non-toxic and extremely, extremely promising in the treatment of colon cancer and potentially 
the prevention of colon cancer itself. Again, I'm Ralph Turkiano. I hope you find this information of use. And as always and always, I thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Ralph Turkiano signing off. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye.